Welcome to the third part of IQBot video tutorial. You will learn how to put learning instance into production, use it in batch processing, and perform validation. In the previous video, we have completed training of IQBot groups and sent them to production. In this video, we will show the next step in the process, where we extract data from multiple documents in the production environment. This is not a part of IQBot trial, and you will not be able to repeat it in your trial environment. We still encourage you to watch this video since it gives you a good idea of how IQ bots are used in end-to-end -end process automation. Before proceeding further, please check the requirements on the screen. Please follow the guidance on the screen to see how to send your learning instance to production. Now, when the learning instance is in production, let us see how it could be used for batch processing. This video demonstrates the data extraction from the documents that have been trained. This is not a hands-on exercise. We will show you how the data is extracted and the validation is done at the end of the IQBot processing. The data extraction is performed in Automation Anywhere Enterprise RPA client while connected to the IQBot control room. First, we open an Automation Anywhere Enterprise client. We run an IQBot command that will analyze the documents and extract data based on the training that we have previously performed. The IQBot command uses the most recent update of all learning instances that have gone into production. We will edit the IQBot command and ensure that the correct learning instance is selected. The loop command points to the documents that were uploaded in the learning instance. In order to see the processing results, we will be watching the report page for the V6 Training English Invoices Learning Instance. We will also bring up the output directory where the CSV files will be created. On the left of the screen, you can see the Windows Explorer with a new subdirectory for the learning instance extraction. As soon as CSV files are generated, they will populate this subdirectory. IQBot screen shows that nine files have been processed and two files are pending review. Seven of nine files have CSV files created. The remaining two we will validate. Let us open several CSV files and check the extracted data. The data was extracted accurately, but we still have two files left for validation. To start validation, you will navigate to the Learning Instances screen and click on the Validate icon on the right, spotting the validation split screen. You can see a red box around one of the values on the left, which means that it has not passed validation. By pointing to the value, you can see the error description in valid number format. We will need to correct this data to pass validation. Document screen on the right side shows the original invoice with the data field marked. We will correct the value and then save the current document by clicking on Save the Current Document button. IQBot will perform the extraction on the validated file. When done, we can save this document and move on to the next one in the validation queue. We will perform the same correction on the next document. These corrections are used for further IQBot training by machine learning algorithms. After validation is completed, let us check the processing results in IQBot dashboard. On the Learning Instance Report screen, we see that all nine files were processed. There was a 77% straight through processing and 100% accuracy in field extraction. You can also see that two files were sent to validation and two files were validated. Congratulations! You have completed the IQBot training and processing journey.
Thank you for watching step by step IQBot video tutorial. Now you are ready to continue further exploration of IQBot capabilities. For more information on IQBot, please visit www.automationanywhere.com. Please feel free to contact us at helpline at automationanywhere.com with any questions. We appreciate your feedback on IQBot trial experience. Thank you.